As the sun shines on all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with some more quick and easy everyday lock styles. So I have been wearing this two strand twist lock bob for a couple of weeks now. And although this is a style of its own, I personally love two strand twist styles because your locks are protected, but you also get a lot of versatility with the two strand twist and can also do further styling. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some easy ways that I like to style my two strand twist. So let's get right into it. So for this first style, I'm just going to do like a half up, half down situation, something really simple. For my two strand twist lock bob, I did do like this flat twist detailing on the side. And so I'm gonna have like a little bang in the front i did do a full tutorial on the actual like lock bob style so i will have that video linked below if you guys are interested in seeing it but yeah i just split the twist in half and for my top section i'm just going to use a scrunchie to put it in a ponytail and it created this cute little half up half down situation with a bang in the front i think this look is super cute and even if you don't have two strand twist and you just have like short to medium length locks a lot of these styles will look really cute as well but here is the first look For the next style, I'm just gonna do like a pineapple. I also kept a bang as well. Um, most of these styles are gonna kind of include the bang just because of the detailing that I have on the side. But I could also just put all of these up in a ponytail if I wanted to. But I'm gonna take a scrunchie that I cut in half or you can use a shoestring. And I'm just going to use that to secure my ponytail at the top of my head um, and just kind of create that pineapple effect. I also left a couple of twists out in the back that's optional um yeah just play around with it you can put it all up leave some hanging what have you but i just tie that string fluff it out to kind of get it to fall the way i want it to and this is the second style also really cute So this next style I actually did in a recent get ready with me video on my shorts and it's kind of a variation of the previous style. So I'm going to start by pulling all of my locks up into a ponytail and securing it with a scrunchie. Again, leaving out a bang in the front. And then I'm just going to take those twists in the ponytail and create a bun. Now this part can get a little difficult just because um, since it is a lock knot bob, uh, the twists aren't that long. So you will kind of have to play with it and shape it a little bit and kind of tuck those ends. But once I get the shape that I want, I'm just going to secure the bun with another scrunchie. And then I'm going to take some open bobby pins and then I'm just going to go around and kind of pin any like twists that are kind of sticking up that were too short to kind of get secured with the scrunchie and just to kind of further shape the bun. This part you definitely have to kind of play around with it a little bit. It's going to be a little different every time you do it. I've worn this style a few times and every time I do the bun it comes out in a different shape a little bit but overall I think this look is really cute, really sleek. Again these styles aren't super like complicated but it's just to kind of show the versatility of two strand twists because most people think when you just do like a lock bob that's the only style you have to wear but no you can definitely get more looks for this next style, I am going to create like a flat twist in the back and I'm gonna make that twist go down and then around to the opposite side. And I'm basically kind of just doing like a pent to the side kind of look. And then I'm gonna go in with some more open bobby pins and just kind of secure it how I want it to fall and look. This is another style that you'll probably have to play around with when it comes to pinning just because of the lock 
lock knots at the bottom but yeah i think this style came out really cute something really simple and elegant i think this style would look really cute with a nice statement earring but yes here is the look And then for this next look, I'm going to do like a half up, half down Bantu knot with a bang type of look. It was a little wordy, but yeah, I sectioned off some twists in the front for my bang. And then for the top half of my head, I'm basically going to do three Bantu knots. So because I have these flat twists on one side, it was a little difficult like getting these Bantu knots to look symmetrical, but in the end I did make it work. But just keep that in mind um, because my detailing is a little different with this look, I kind of had to play around with it. But again, where there is a will, there is a way. Um, with most of my lock styling videos, I just encourage you guys to just play around and have fun and see what you can create. No set of locks is exactly the same, so you always want to make sure that you are tailoring these styles to fit you to fit your personality to fit your set of locks and to make it work and frame you know your own face and things like that so yeah But this is how it turned out. It's super cute. Definitely more of a edgy type of look. But I personally love Bantu knots. Um, whenever I do any type of Bantu knot styles on my locks, like I just absolutely love them. And yeah, this one came out super cute. And then for this last style, I decided to do the whole head in Bantu knots because why not? So for that section in the back that I had just hanging, I'm just going to create two Bantu knots in the back and then I just kept the bang in the front. And I really like this style. Again, I've done Bantu knots so many times and I always love the way that they look, but I've never tried them with a bang. And I feel like the bang just really elevated the style even more. And yeah, I just really love the way that this look turned out. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media platforms. And I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye.